We will talk about the labor force and we will focus on the unemployment. The labor force describes those people in the working age population who want to work. The working age population are people aged 16 or older who are not in prison, not institutionalized and not in the military. The labor force also equals to the number of employed plus the number of unemployed. Employed are people working at least one hour per week for a pay or who work in a family business for at least 15 hours per week or might be also temporary out of work due to illness, vacation or weather conditions but do have to return to their jobs. Unemployed are people who are not employed but they are able to take a job if offered and they have done something to look for work within the past four weeks. We will look at three different types of unemployment. Frictional unemployment, structural unemployment and cyclical unemployment. Frictional unemployment. It takes time and information for workers to find jobs suitable for them. People leave their jobs and seek for a better one. People also return to the labor force after taking a time out and after graduating from college. So looking for a job for a short term leads to frictional unemployment. We can minimize frictional unemployment with better information. Structural unemployment usually occurs due to mismatch in workers and jobs. For example, having jobs available for nurses but there are more engineers who want to be employed. So certain skills are required for the jobs offered. We also might have a lot of teachers in Abu Dhabi where more engineers are required. So in order to fix such problems, we either retrain the people so that they match the jobs available or we relocate them by moving them to the region where their skills are wanted and jobs meeting their skills are offered. Cyclical unemployment is also known as the demand deficient unemployment. It occurs when there is not enough jobs in total and not enough demand. It also occurs due to the low economic activity and when producing at a point inside the production possibility curve. We can reduce cyclical unemployment by government stimulus by increasing the rate of growth, lowering interest rate and increasing government spending and consumption. In order to calculate the unemployment rate, we take the number of the unemployed and we divide it by the number in the labor force and then we multiply it by 100. The natural rate of unemployment is the rate of unemployment in a healthy economy. It consists of frictional and short-term structural unemployment. 